think we're in the whipsaw economy here. Just a month ago, sentiment was incredibly negative. On this show, we were predicting for the year that we were looking at the Fed funds rate going from 4.5% to say 5.5%, 250 point increases. The belief was that we were going to have a recession later this year. I think that was pretty much consensus. And now three weeks later, you had a situation in which we got a couple of really good inflation reports. So all of a sudden the consensus changed to, we're not going to need to raise rates, you know, to five and a half percent. Maybe we only get one or two more quarter point rates. And the market just ripped on the belief that inflation was in the rear view mirror. The problem had been licked and now we can just kind of move forward. And the Fed seemed to confirm that just yesterday with the quarter point rate increase. And now today we have this wild jobs report with over half a million new jobs. The expectation was only 100,000. And so now all of a sudden people are wondering, well, wait a second, does this mean that labor costs are gonna you know, go back up, that the economy is overheating and now the Fed's gonna have to raise more. So I would say literally from week to week, we're being whipsawed between expectations of whether inflation has been conquered or not, whether the economy is going to have a recession or not. And I think probably where we're sitting at this moment is you'd have to say that the risks of inflation returning are slightly higher, but the risks of a recession are slightly lower because with this kind of jobs report, better chance of having a soft landing here.